So, what is malware? Well, malware is short for malicious software. Malicious being intending to do harm. Therefore, the intention of malware is a computer program or programs used against the owner of a computer or network. Malware can be stealthy, like a ninja intending to steal information or spy on computer users over a period of time. Regan is one example of malware that does this. Other malware is designed to sabotage, such as Stuxnet, while others, like CryptoLocker, force users to pay money so the user can read their files that were encrypted by this piece of malware. Malware is a group name for lots of badware. These being computer viruses, worms, Trojan horses and spyware. In this video I'm going to explain a little more about all of these. A virus is not just a bad cold. It is also a program written by someone called a virus author who attaches their code to some other computer program or file enabling the virus to spread from one computer to another leaving infection as it travels. Almost all viruses are executionable files which means that they can live on your computer but not infect that computer until you run or open the malicious code. Some viruses can be quite harmless like the music bug virus. It simply gets your computer to play a few chords. The I love you virus on the other hand was not at all loving. In fact, it would delete files and then email itself to other people using the contact list of the user whose computer was infected. So how do you know if your computer is infected? Well, an infected computer may show one or several of these symptoms. An unusual message or image. Unusual sound. Lack of memory. Files missing files corrupted, programs not opening, your computer system running much slower. Whereas a virus needs human help to spread, such as the sending of emails with infected attachments, a worm which is very similar to a virus does not need any help from us. A worm has the ability to copy itself. Another word is replicate often thousands of times and therefore send itself out to thousands of computers either by email or along network cables or wirelessly. The fact that worms are able to replicate makes them very destructive. A recent worm was the blaster worm which could bury itself into your system and allow malicious users to control your computer. Now a Trojan horse is full of as much trickery as the mythological Trojan horse it was named after. The Trojan horse at first glance will appear to be useful software but will actually do damage once installed or run on your computer. Those on the receiving end of a Trojan horse are usually tricked into opening them because they appear to be receiving legitimate software or files from a legitimate source. When a Trojan is activated on your computer the results can vary. Some Trojans are designed to be more annoying than malicious like changing your desktop or they can cause serious damage by deleting files and destroying information on your system. Trojans are also known to create a back door on your computer that gives malicious users access to your system, possibly allowing confidential or personal information to be compromised. Unlike viruses and worms, Trojans do not reproduce by infecting other files, nor do they self-replicate. Spyware is designed once it has entered your computer to monitor your activities as well as collect information from your computer. 
This information is then sent back to the spyware creator. Spyware also floods your computer with loads of mostly useless advertisements. The presence of spyware in your computer often affects the processing speed and smooth functioning of your computer. But this is mostly a side effect of spywares and not their main purpose. Some spyware programs are capable of deleting certain programs from your computer. They may delete some files or modify certain programs in order to get fully embedded into your system. This may include altering your anti-spyware programs that might eventually have helped in dislodging the malicious spyware with time. Okay, so what can we do to make sure that all this malware does not infect our computer? Well, the first thing is to make sure that our operating system is up to date, which is really important if you have a Windows operating system. Secondly, make sure that your computer has antivirus software and ensure that the download updates are done frequently so that it has all the latest fixes for the new viruses, worms and Trojan horses. Also ensure that your antivirus program has the ability to scan emails and files as they're being downloaded from the internet and that they're able to run full disk scans periodically. If you do all this, then malicious programs won't get even close to your computer. It's also a good idea to have installed a firewall. A firewall is a system that prevents unauthorized use and access to your computer. Thank you.